Hello everyone, so my name is Mackenzie Davis, and I don't know why I said my last name, but whatever. Um, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here, and today I am going to be doing the stripped down challenge only, only because I just came back from the pool, and I don't have any makeup on, and my hair is wet, that's why I slightly look like a potato. Uh, yeah, so that's why I'm filming the stripped down challenge, and... A lot of big YouTubers or uh, Musical.ly people have been doing this, and so I was like, I really like this challenge, let's do it, and it's going to be really hard for me, I'm just going to tell you that right now, because I'm not good at explaining my feelings, and I also don't think it's going to be like, meh, like spilling out my emotions, because I'm not an emotional person, but it should be a cool video, maybe, and maybe you'll learn more about me. So, yeah, I'm going to set my timer to 10 minutes. I don't know if you can see that because my stupid light here. But, yeah, okay, starting now. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Mackenzie Davis. I am from Maryland. I am 13 years of age, and I first like started out on social media from this app called Musical.ly and if you don't know what that is it's basically a lip syncing app but um I started on there I got featured by a dance video and so that's really what I do mostly on there I, I dance on there and yeah so I got featured and then a lot of people started following me and I don't want this whole video to be about hate, but I feel like it's an important part of, like, what I'm feeling. So, yeah, I'm just going to talk about that for a little bit. So, honestly, I think hate is a bunch of BS. Like, I don't F with it. I think it's so stupid. And if you ever leave a hate comment on someone's photo, just, I don't know what you're thinking. Like, I just, it's not, it doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you hate on what someone's doing if they're happy? And if they're successful, especially successful, why are you hating on them? Or maybe you're hating because you're like jealous because they're successful with what they're doing. I don't really know and I don't really get it. I think it's just a form of jealousy. So if you ever get hate comments, just know. Oh, my nail came off. That's, that's fun. Okay. <laughs> uh, just know that it's, purely based on jealousy to be honest like you're popping and they're mad about that okay so don't change yourself because of hate that's yeah no no i also like i just oh it makes me mad like it makes me mad because i feel like i when i want to post a picture so on Instagram, if you all follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of my bikini because I really liked the bikini and I felt really confident in my body. Like I just really liked like how my body looked and stuff. And people just have the nerve to like comment on that. And I don't get why why you would comment, especially on someone's body, like a hate comment. A hate comment when they're like confident in their body and you just want to bring them down like oh my god there's a bee outside my window <laughs> okay but like why would you want to bring them down if they build up that confidence like yeah so that leads me into my other one so as i said i was really confident in my body and like just getting all those hate comments it's really hard to keep that confidence and so i start to develop this insecurity that i think i have but then again, like I, I just I rethink and I'm like, no, like I'm I'm really confident in my body, like, like I'm, I'm really like I'm really confident still. I just I just think I have this insecurity because of all these hate comments and it's, uh, it's so annoying. Oh my goodness. Okay, so also I just want to tell you guys. I just wanted to explain how social media doesn't really know who I am and I feel like people think they know who I am from my videos and my music leads. if you my dog is so annoying okay so this 
is gonna be really hard to explain, but people just think they know people on social media. But you don't, you really won't know a person purely based on like social media. Like, you won't really know who a real YouTuber is. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to explain like who I like really am and who I really think. So I am 13 years old. I know that I'm like young and I'm still like maturing and like all that stuff. But I just want to say that people who call me a brat and people who call me spoiled or stuck up or you know full of myself i just want to say you're honestly completely completely wrong and it makes me so sad like like so sad to the point where i want to cry like that you think that about me because it's definitely like i'm totally the opposite like i am really shy and no i'm not gonna come up to you and start a conversation but like once you like get to know me i'm honestly like i'm a really sweet person and i like i promise you like i'm not full of myself like yeah i have confidence in myself but i'm not gonna be like oh i'm better than you like that b is still on my window <laughs> but i'm not gonna be like oh i'm better than you or like oh look i have like two million followers on musically like i'm so much better than you like i'm definitely not going to be that person because i'm just not like i'm not like i have a good heart and people don't you can't really catch that off of videos that you make on youtube and i just want people to like know that and it just it makes me really mad when people say i'm spoiled too oh my goodness it honestly like <sighs> it makes me really really mad and really sad that people always spoiled because i work hard for the things that i want and get like I'm just going to say that I I can't... Okay, so dance is really, really expensive, if you guys didn't know that. And dance is, like, my passion. My Like, my ballet is my passion. Like, I want to do it for the rest of my life. I love it so much. And it's what I breathe, and I live for it, and I just... I just... Yeah. I am ballet. I'm just kidding. But, yeah, I just... Yeah, okay, so if you guys don't know, ballet is really, really expensive, or dance is really, really expensive. And my mom has me and my sister, so she can't always pay for, like, the really expensive, like, ballet intensives that I want to, want to go to. So this year I decided, like, I want to go to Joffrey in Chicago, so I tried out, and I got in, and, and, like, the financial situation, like, it was five thousand dollars and so i worked really hard to earn that money or well, earn some of the money like obviously i'm not gonna pay all of it by myself but like earn that money on my own and pay for it and people say i'm spoiled but like i really like i work hard for what i want and i just want you guys to like because that makes me really mad and yeah but also i just another thing that i want to say is like moving back onto like the insecurities i am filming here can you oh my gosh but if you get any hate or you get bullied zoe stop or if you get bullied i just want you to know that you, other people like other people may help you and say that you're beautiful and say not to listen to the haters and say that you're worth it but it's not gonna help you through the long run like you need to build up that love for yourself and that confidence in yourself and you need to tell yourself that you're beautiful and you need to tell yourself that you're worth it and you need to tell yourself not to listen to the haters because they don't know anything they don't know what they're talking about because no and yeah it's it's hard let me tell you that, but, yeah, um, because it happened to me in school, because I am in middle school, and things are gonna happen, people are gonna bully you, because girls are girls, and, mm, yeah, also, so mine happened, like, very, fairly quickly, like, I had to, like, find that love for myself really quickly, because I got, I started to get a lot of hate comments, then there was, like, these girls that were just, like, 
on me for some reason I don't really know why and then I also stopped talking to my best friend for a month and I needed to find that love and like confidence in myself and I just needed to get up every morning and say that I'm worth it and I need to just move through the struggles and this will all be over and in a little bit and yeah also I want to say that things bad will happen in your life and I only have 30 seconds but I'm gonna go on because I want to explain this and I forgot to so things bad will happen in your life and especially in middle school like young teenagers and stuff and old teenagers but whatever. bad things will happen in your life and you will need to get through it and you will need to push through it like no other but I just want you to know that in the in the end like something good will come out of it and you will be so much stronger than you were like that phrase what doesn't kill you makes you stronger people say that that's not true but honestly it's the like, most truest thing I've ever heard like I keep saying like I'm really sorry I say that a lot I just I don't know but I'm so glad that all of that in like earlier on the year happened because I am a completely different person than I was in September. I am so much more mature. I know how to handle things on like more on my own and I know how to handle hate and just I know how to I'm just stronger like mentally and so I just want you guys to know that you need to push through whatever bad is happening in your life and know that you will come out and it will be a positive outcome and you will just be stronger and you may not realize it until later on. Zoe, if you stop, if you don't stop crying, I'm going to literally... Pull your tail off. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I hope that made sense. I hope, I hope this was like a good video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I just, I hope... Yeah. Um, but... I feel like I was just kind of all over the place, but it's only 10 minutes, and I feel like I needed more time, but you know what, whatever. So thank you guys for watching, I love you guys so much, and if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss a weekly video for me. <laughs> yeah, so I love you guys so much, don't forget to like, tell yourself that you love yourself too, because why is it wrong to love yourself? Okay? It's not wrong to love yourself. It's so right to love yourself. Peace out. I love you guys. Bye.